The surprising decision has prompted speculation about Dramaposa and Mashatile's tense relationship and the state of South Africa politics going forward. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's consideration of appointing John Stone Sane as deputy president has sent shockwaves through the country's political scene. Potential difficulties within the African National Congress have been highlighted by this unexpected action, which has sparked discussion and received criticism from the current deputy president, Paul Mashatile. Ramaphosa's surprising consideration of Steen Hussein for the country's second highest position has sparked significant speculation about his motivations. It has been speculated that the president's decision was influenced by the recent attack on Mashatile, a leading figure in the ANC and potential presidential candidate. Allegations of corruption and other scandals have damaged Mashatile's reputation in recent months. Even if the allegations are false, they have hurt Mashatile's reputation and may have influenced Ramaphosa's choice to look elsewhere for a vice president. Corruption and scandals have plunged the ANC for decades and the party has struggled to regain the public's trust. Many people see Steen Hussein as an outsider. Therefore, his appointment has cast doubt on the party's direction and strategy for meeting these difficulties. Time will tell whether or not Ramaphosa's decision was a good one. People on social media and in the political commentary world have been eager to weigh in on what they think Ramaphosa should do. Steen Hussein's backers think the government would benefit greatly from having someone with his level of knowledge and leadership in charge. On the other hand, those who believe Mashatile should have been elected because of his standing within the ANC and his qualifications or the role are dismissed by his om omission. They the usual emotive online community has been lively with debate, with many divergent points of viewing being presented. Some have praised Ramaphosa's apparent action, saying it shows he is putting the interests of the country ahead of those of his own party. His critics say he ignores eligible applicants and makes agreements behind their, do their backs. The consequences of Ramaphosa's decision for South African politics and government are becoming increasingly clear as whispers and speculation persists, whether or whether his decision was best for the country and its future is still up in their air, and only time will tell.